All right, so if we could please do number 37, 6.3, which says, I would like to calculate the formula for taking a function f, right? So start with f, go down to, and then do a vertical stretch by a factor of two. There's a picture. I trust that we got the picture right. Is that true? Did you get the picture right? The graph? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I need the, I need to get like the function right though before I can do the. Oh, you can do the picture by itself. Let's do a both. So the picture looks like this. So the picture is up, down, halfway up. Yeah. So that's at two high, that's one, two, and three. Okay, so first things first, what would down two look like in terms of I don't know. Picture? Uh, well, I see that top. You're going to make it at the x axis. Okay, so take each point and then move them down two. Yeah. So that one's going to be down two. These two guys will be down here at negative two. That one's going to be at negative one. negative one. And then connect the dots. Okay, so pink part, down two. What am I thinking in terms of like bubble lamp. Uh, well, so, well, no. Down two is changing the outputs. Down two is changing the outputs, right? Is a vertical stretch by two, is that changing the inputs or the outputs? Outputs. That's an output thing? So both my interesting things are happening after F. Right? So where's the down two fall in that? Is that the first thing you do or the second? First. First thing you're doing? So that should be in this slot, right? Because the y's go in order. Okay. How do you get things to move down to? Minus. Minus. You subtract 2. Add negative. Right? Or add negative 2. Good with that? Mm -hmm. OK, so that's my pink one. Orangey stuff. How do you do a vertical stretch by two? In bubble land, you multiply by two. Multiply by two. And in picture land, you double the y values, leaving the x values alone. So this guy here was at negative two. When you double that, you get to negative four. Dot down here. This one's at zero. zero. When you double zero, you get zero. zero. When you double negative two, you get negative four. negative four again. And when you double negative one, you get negative two. Negative two. And then you connect the dots. Yep. When you double negative one, you get negative two. Two groups of a debt of a dollar. If you have two That's bank accounts, they're each overdrawn by a dollar. By another negative. A negative times uh, a positive okay. is a negative. I thought your doubling word was like double multiplying. Like yeah, adding. doubling is multiplying by positive two. Okay, I thought. Okay. That's not so the orange nice. thing is your picture. What's your formula? 2f minus 2. 2f, hold on. Okay, I'm with you that there should be a 2 and an f and a minus 2. Yes. 2f two two minus 2. The <laughs> quantity of f of x minus 2. two x minus so I think you want to start with an x, right? Yeah. Oh, Do f to it. <laughs> That's going to get you to f of x. Right? Then you subtract 2 from that, so you're going to have f of x minus 2. Multiply the whole thing with 2. And then the whole thing gets multiplied by 2. So you get 2 times the quantity of f of x minus 2. Okay. And then, yeah, if you want to get the answer in the back of the book, you distribute the 2. So, so they're doing this. Yeah. 
Yeah, so what's up with this? This is not actually what they said, right? What they said was you wanted to go down two and then do a vertical stretch by two. This, I would say, is do a vertical stretch by two and then go down by four. Those are the same thing algebraically. Right? But I would, like, this is what I would prefer as an answer. It was the quantity that got you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just the, it was, that came up before because it like, wasn't making any sense to me. Cause, like, cause yeah, so you the take the whole ones. thing in the bubble and apply that yeah. rule yeah, to it. Yeah, because all the other ones in that section, like, we didn't, like, the formula didn't change, at the, like, when the, like, you didn't add anything, like, with it. It's, like, it didn't change the formula a lot. Yeah, because they weren't doing a couple steps yeah. after or a couple steps before, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, these things get, they get complicated when you have a couple steps after because oftentimes a couple steps after you can think of in a couple different ways. 